have entered into a new phase of conflict in which we use a cyber weapon to create physical destruction. A battle is waging across the internet. cyber attacks on U.S. companies. 30 million lines of code written. So it is almost by definition a preemptive weapon. The U.S. has been engaged in a series of cyber attacks. Who's the most technologically advanced? The United States? Maybe you said Germany. Well, not to be specific, because they're in neck and neck, but Japan and China are killing this particular industry. And they're also killing... This is slang. You people use slang, right? They're killing it. Killing it in the Human Genome Project. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shikama. What do you think about your kids having a dad, but not a mom? What do you think about your having kids without the headache of a woman and all of her lawyers and judges trying to fleece you for every dime you have and taking your house, car, and boat? Or your Super Bowl ring? Or your NBA championship award? What do you think about your kid calling a robot? Mommy. Gentlemen, that reality is here. It's not for poor people, of course. So it's not for everyone. It's not. It's for those rich men who want to be have a kid without the headache. I left out in the previous videos that cutting edge technology has come to the Human Genome Project. Project. The mainstream media has pointed it to being an answer for homosexuals. Here's a clue, everyone. Homosexuals had nothing to do with it. Homosexuals are not even a consideration compared to the 99% rest of the population. And that's with a breakdown of all male, female, and confused homosexuals. That entire population that's in the news constantly, running away with forcing people to bake cakes and shutting down pizza parlors for not wanting to give pizza for gay weddings. Um, let's overlook for a second how ghetto it is to serve pizza at your wedding. So let's all agree that in the Human Genome Project, liberal bias has not forced scientists around the world to do anything for a minor, inconsequential political group. That's the fact, Jack. Before I continue, I'm, getting, I'm going to dumb down this video for the masses. I'm hoping you share the video so that the masses actually see it. I'm going to spare you the extensive scientific terminology and mechanisms involved in this. I hope you appreciate that point. I read all of it. I went cross-eyed reading all of it. <laughs> that out of the way, what are we talking about? Having babies with just a male? Having a full-term baby without a female? Having an artificial uterus? A robot doing all of this that you buy and personally own? I told you about the Japanese releasing a fully functioning robot. I said she can perform all of the duties, especially the wifely duties. Most people thought I meant um, one thing, but I said fully functioning. In full means 100% wife, which includes having your children. Some of these robot people are playing around and uh, have invented robots who, after being completely programmed by their master, which means the man has talked extensively and the robot knows his personality and has developed her own personality, according to the man. That she will take the two personalities, combine them, and then 3D print a robot child with both personalities. Yes, that's already here. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the real deal. Cutting-edge technology has created the possibility of a man having his own child by himself. 
No female input whatsoever. I'll spell you the details, but basically they take the reproductive juice from a man and other parts of a man at a cellular level and boom, embryo. Ow. Oh, I fell down a couple of days ago and uh, I broke my hand. I can't be. I'm Italian when I speak. A lot of people don't understand. So I was gesturing with my hand and uh, I can't do that. So I'm holding my hand to keep still. With a bit, little bit of uh, scientific magic, they kickstart the cellular division, and your kid is on his way. Which brings up the next technological breakthrough. They have created and perfected the inside of a woman, artificially. In fact, it is so groundbreaking that they're using it for prematurely born babies already. I'm assuming this technological breakthrough is probably only available for wealthy couples... So if you're not offered this in your hospital, now you know you're not balling like you think you were balling, okay? One aspect of this technology is to pick the perfect set of genes for the baby. Some people are all up in arms over that. But if you're going to be selling out half a million dollars, you might as well be getting the perfect son out of it, right? Which brings up a question. Do you think we're messing around with things we shouldn't be? They've already talked about superhuman rich people. That is, people born through gene splicing technology with no human diseases and not even being carriers in their DNA. They live longer, are stronger, better, faster, harder. There was a big uproar in the news about it years ago. And all of a sudden, it wasn't talked about. Hmm, curious. I want you to think about your family. Do you have family medical issues that could be wiped away? Would you do it if you could? Which brings us to the next technological advance. Full-term pregnancy in a robot. This happens every time, all the time. I want you to understand that as a woman ages, she can no, not only not have kids, but as she ages, the ability to have it in full term becomes more and more likely that she can't carry it full term. Imagine never worrying about that because it's in the robot. So this technology is out there and has been out there for years. Why hasn't it been in the news? Or if it has been in the news, why isn't the story updated constantly? I'll tell you why. Because it literally destroys, it literally, what am I doing? It literally destroys all of these social issues that they're bringing up into politics. It destroys everything about a female. God! Are the talks about what your husband did to you, or what your wife did to you, and the ramifications of this technology for military applications, medical applications, and health applications are rampant. Women want to throw their ex-husbands in jail for not paying $5,000 a month in child support, which is ridiculous. No child needs that. That's God. And the beauty of it all is that there's nothing anyone can do to invade your life for. With a wife, your life is invaded, and most of your freedoms are limited. Why? Because they've edged their way into marriage, kids, parental rights, divorce, and dividing up your money you work for. While women are sitting around saying this will never take off, it has already begun. And it's not for permit men. It's for all men. For you women who think you're not the problem, and that feminism is the problem, and it's not you, well, sorry to tell you. You are now the minority. This technology is here and it's here to stay. Like the video. Can I get you to share the video any way that you can? Thank you.